Uh, Jack Blake is fantastic. And on top of that, a, a really kind of a reshaped back line. Sebastian Guinzotti, Augustine Williams, those are some bona fide goal scorers up top and a really a veteran midfield as well with Tyler Gibson. Uh, the pace will slow down dramatically um, and, and the game will change. But for now, you know, we can enjoy it. Good header in the box, cross back, kind of a back flick. And that is wide of the target. And yet somehow came out uh, completely empty. Now, great first touch there and an opportunity in the box. Tulu, the tackle, it's going to be a yellow card and a penalty to Indy 11. Tulu, that opportunity, Blake with a good touch, and there was the opportunity. You saw Blake get to the ball first. Really struggled in the first 25 minutes of this match, and we'll see if Tyler Derrick can come up with something special. Blake, boy, there's nothing you can do to stop that one. What a strike. 1-0, Indy 11. Shades of last week for both teams. Blake scored the first goal last week for Indy 11. To his right, and he went high. But Jack Blake just rifled it right over the top of him. He just roofs this ball. Just absolute ruthless That's, penalty. That is, that is as good as it gets when it comes to a penalty right there. I mean, you could, you could. Ball played up. Gibson in a dangerous position. Cuts it back. Williams, first time strike he is high and wide. Just about half a yard short on some of these passes. Good tackle over there on the far side from Luis Fernando. But now, terrific job from O'Brien. Puts a great ball in. Dangerous position. And out of position is Tyler Derrick. And it's goal number two. It's goal number two for Indy 11. Douglas Martinez. Fabulous work on that far side. Tell you what, they're finishing pretty much everything in this match, including uh, goals that are pretty awkward, right? That's pretty uh, unorthodox. That goal there from Douglas Martinez is Tyler Derrick came out, and unfortunately for 901 FC, just completely missed the ball. And Douglas Martinez does a great job of sticking with it, cutting the ball back across the box. I think if they keep doing that, they'll find success. But defensively, Peter, they got to be much cleaner. The fourth official has added a minimum of five minutes of added time. That is a lot of added time. And now we've got a second yellow and a red card for Oscar Jimenez with a tackle right on the edge of the box. We mentioned it has been a bad game. Over to Santos. Santos, been a real bright spot in the second half. Cuts it in right foot shot. Just a moment where it looked like maybe Ertl might bobble it a little bit, but he got it under control. Dangerous opportunity. Played forward. Collier too high. Former 901 FC man trying to make it a Hakeem Ward. Long ball looking for the run of Dylan Borsak who got there. And again, that header not necessarily where he wanted to be. Six minutes of added time is going to be the call, and that is that gives you a little opportunity there. Now, Borzak plays it to Nico Brett. Save made, but Ertl didn't know a lot about it. Low ball comes in. It's going to be hit again. They wild bicycle kick. It's a goal. Unbelievable goal. 901 FC. My word, was that Sissoko? It was, the center back.